Hello, this is Andrea from Spreadsheetables. I am so happy that you're watching this video today because I am really excited to show you what I'm about to show you. Um, so today I'm going to be talking to you about how to make money selling spreadsheets. Or I should change the title and be like how to make money with Google Sheets because I'm going to show you a few different ways to make money using Google Sheets. Um, so in today's agenda, we have, I'm just going to do, have a quick overview, you know, about what's Google Sheets and how powerful this tool is and how underutilized or, you know, it's very underestimated nowadays. Um, it's incredible. And I hope by the end of this video, you guys are just as excited as I am about it. I really, I'm really passionate about it and I'm going to show you why. Uh, then we're going to go over some money making ideas uh, and then I'm going to show you some awesome things that Google Sheets can do uh, that you're going to be like, what? Mind blow. And then we're going to go over what's next. So a little overview. Um, so what is Google Sheets? Google Sheets is a web based spreadsheet application that lets you quickly organize your ideas and calculations. So Basically, everybody knows Excel, right? Um, but Excel, you have to pay a uh, monthly or yearly subscription to Microsoft so you can be able to use it. Um, sometimes, you know, you can't collaborate that much. Uh, they're trying to improve that now, but still. In Google Sheets, you can access it, you can access from anywhere. And it's all online. All you need is a computer and internet connection. That is it. And it's free. You don't have to pay anything. Computer. And uh, they have an app as well um, that you can download. And some some type of spreadsheets will work on the um, you know on the mobile and iPads. Uh, not the, the kinds that have app like kind of like coding inside of them that this those won't work on mobile, but still you can access from any computer from anywhere. Um so Google Sheets is very, um, there's still a, a stigma around it, right? Uh, so when you, when you hear about spreadsheets, you, you think of like taxes or, um, you know, budget tracking or, you know, saving. It's all about numbers and some sort of different data, right? Like sales tracker and things like that. But let me tell you that this can be a game changer for people like you and me. Um, you know, moms, dads, teachers, uh, business owners. I actually started this journey because I am a business owner and I was tired of um, paying, you know, a lot of money for softwares and other applications. You know, I was paying, I don't know, over $300 because I had a, a, a store with uh, selling physical party supplies. So I had to keep track of inventory and, you know, we had to go in and out because I have to keep the exact amount of, um, you know, the inventory that I had in stock. So I wouldn't, you know, oversell something and not have anything to offer, you know, to ship. Uh, but anyways, and then I was paying a lot of money in those kind of softwares and, um, I decided that and I was having it was so much work, you know, because nothing connected uh, nothing. Nowadays, you have some automations and things like that. But back like three years ago, it, <laughs> it feels like such a short time, but it seems like a, a very long time ago. Um, so there wasn't many options. So I decided to create my own tools. And that's when I mean, I've been using spreadsheets and been um, I've been creating uh, spreadsheets for over a decade now, probably more. I've so, as far as I can remember, I've been working with spreadsheets and numbers, but it wasn't until 2019 that I decided to use that in my favor as in, you know, creating and automating my the systems for me and for my business. And that was a, I'm gonna tell you, that was a game changer in my life, right? Um, that just automating my everything, my whole business was amazing and for free, right? All I needed was to invest some of my time in the beginning to put everything together and then it was done. That was it. Um, so then November of 2022, that was last year, uh, for the Black Friday, I was working with my 
mentor and coach say this Miley um and you know she she put a challenge for her coaching group to create a product that she would advertise in her uh, market right in her uh, website she had like a sort of like a, a black friday market sort of thing so i was like okay great so then i created a spreadsheet it, i created a spreadsheet but it was towards the party um the party uh, business, right? And then I decided to change it last time and I created like this uh, tool because, let me back up a bit. With my party thing, I had my, my business was on Etsy, okay? And um, one thing I dreaded the most was creating listings and the tags and the description and, <laughs> and optimizing the SEO and doing keyword research, right? So it was a lot. It was a pain in the yeah the rear um so then i decided to create something to automate kind of that and that was my black friday product and that alone in three days that it was advertised i sold over 500 it was a seven dollar spreadsheet and it was like really simple um and i sold over 500 dollars on that so I'm just like, what just happened? <laughs> and then uh, Sadie told me, she's like, Andrea, I can feel it. You know, this is your passion. This is your business. You're really good at that. Why don't you sell it? And then like the light bulb just went on and I was like, yes, you know. So long story short, I put my, uh, my party business on the side. It's in the back burner right now. And now I'm doing the whole spreadsheet thing and I am absolutely loving it. And I love that I can show everybody how great that is um, and how powerful that can be. So <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> so cost versus benefits. All right, I already say it is free. No cost involved, no subscriptions, no software to purchase, nothing. It is all digital, okay? So when I have my part of business, it's, I love doing it because of the business part of it, but the whole, shipping the physical inventory it is it's painful okay it is painful i'm gonna not gonna lie it, it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of labor uh it's a labor of love but it's still labor <laughs> so spreadsheets all digital no inventory no shipping fees nothing work from home passive income uh double dipping you can turn your spreadsheets into printables so you have you can have a um you know, a spreadsheet business and the printables and a digital product separate shop for that. Uh, you can add absolutely anything and everything to spreadsheets. And I'm going to show you in the next slides. Mobility, you can access it from anywhere, anywhere, really. And of course, passive income. Create it once, sell it multiple times over and over again. Uh, cons, there are really no cons. Um, if in comparison to Excel, uh, it does have less functions, a little less functions than, you know, Excel. But if you aren't familiar with, you know, you're not really a, uh, you know, an Excel expert. And I'm not going to take the time. I'm not, you know, like I know the basic stuff, but I'm not going to take the time to dig deeper and study to know all the exact fun. Google Sheets is enough for me. It does an amazing job and it's enough and I don't have to learn anything else. And it's very simple. They keep it simple. You know that, that saying, the less is more, that's Google Sheets for you. Um, so let's go to, into the uh, selling our spreadsheet. So if you wanna sell your spreadsheets, it's three, treat it like any other product for sale or any other business. Uh, you have to research your market see what's trending, what are the best sellers and things like that. Um, I, in my, I have a Facebook group and I'm going to be opening a membership uh, soon. And I'm gonna teach you how to track um, the best sellers, what is selling, what's trending, or you know what are people looking for. And then that will help you understand your target audience. You have to create something unique to help your audience solve a problem. And then you can niche down. The more you niche down, the higher are your chances to make a sale. Um, now, when you're creating a spreadsheet, good rule of thumb, 
one, be creative. Okay. Don't go out there copying people. Just be creative in your spreadsheets. There's many, many ways to, um, to place things on there, uh, different formulas that you can add, different functions. There's so many things that you can do. So be creative. Uh, you can solve a problem. You have to solve a problem. All my spreadsheets, everything that I create is to solve a problem. Uh, I want it. What, what is my problem as a business owner? I need more time. I need to be more productive. I need to be, I need to have things more automated. Uh, so that's what my spreadsheets do for me. And then you got to keep it simple. Now, I say keeping simple. I have some really complicated <laughs> spreadsheets that I created. But I say keeping simple because um, if your spreadsheet is too complex, something that you're selling, if you want to create it for yourself, if you understand what you're doing, go as complex as you want. But if you're selling it, um, Keep it simple because you don't want to be bombarded with, you know, messages from your customers asking, you know, to explain it further. How does it work? So just keep that in mind. And then it goes from passive to F to active, you know, in the blink of an eye. So problems to solve. What does spread like? Why? What kind of problems can you solve with spreadsheets? You can save them time. You can help them make or save money and you can help them get organized. So all those three plot problems, once you solve everything, it just, everything starts flowing. You start making better decisions. Uh, you know, you can make quicker decisions. When you look at a spreadsheet, you be like, you can take a quick glance at, you know, your graphs or your numbers or something like that. It just, it makes so much more sense and you can make decisions much faster. And that's the end goal, right? To save time, right? Our, our most precious, uh, um, thing nowadays, right? It's time. Like we don't have that much time anymore. So, um, so now let's go to the fun part, like, uh, money making ideas. So I told you like niche down and you're going to be like, mm, like what kind of niches, you know, what kind of people can I target? What can I do? So the next slides I broke down into a few different niches and you can uh, break it down as much as you know as you want but you you can see that you can make a spreadsheet for literally everything and anyone um all right so money making ideas personal life what kind of uh, spreadsheets can you make for personal life right for people's life day-to-day -day, moms and dads right um to-do lists password trackers habit trackers calendars this over here it's a habit tracker they sell it for six dollars and it's a best seller the reviews for this item is um they have 30 reviews that means that it's sold like at least five times that if not more um and they created it once uh and in the in the membership i'll show you how to you can track those um those sales right uh, there's um, there's an app out there, a software that helps you track how much uh, how many times that sold in the past seven days, for example. So you know exactly what is trending, exactly what is selling, and you can go from there. But um, yeah, you can track everything, and you can do keyword research. I also show how to do keyword research, so you can also you know see what people are looking for, what kind of stuff they want to have solved what kind of problems they want to have solved but they're not finding anywhere because i use e-rank for uh, my etsy research and you can see for example uh um there's one that i saw yesterday i was doing some research and that was i think it was a period tracker it was like oh, almost two thousand people searching for that a month and there was like almost zero and Keep in mind, there are apps nowadays. I use one that does all that stuff for free, but people are still searching for things, for trackers, for them to either uh, use it as a printable or, you know, just track it real quick on their phone, but in a different way. They want to see graphs. They want to be more visual than, you know, whatever the apps are offering out there. So um, events, this is another really popular one. Um, wedding planning, so many people are looking for wedding planners and 
the ones that are out there are selling like hotcakes, okay? So you can make guest list, budget tracker, event timeline, vendors lists, equipment um, inventory, seating plans, and you can, you can automate everything. For example, uh, guest list, right? From your guest list, you can automatically link to a tab for, and then it will like uh, assign the seats and you can quickly visualize the table right there. It, I mean, so many things that you can do, you guys, so many things. Household, things to use in the household. Um, budget tracker, meal planner, recipe book. If you're a, a food blogger, if you have a food blog, offer this to your audience. Uh, you can sell, you can offer for free as a lead magnet um, or, you know, like a traffic driver or something like that. Um, put your recipes in a spreadsheet and then the next step have them organize it in a way that they can plan their meals just by pulling from a drop down menu they pull whatever recipe they want and then in the next step it already sorts their ingredients because you already have the recipe right there it sorts everything and they can just print out and go grocery shopping and they, they have like everything it's literally like a few clicks and they have a whole grocery list they have their their weekly menu planned it's just like so much time saved <laughs> bill tracker home inventory cleaning schedule cleaning schedule you can target airbnbs uh owners uh or airbnb cleaners you know so much stuff out there guys um personal finances this is one of the most popular categories for spreadsheets that's what everybody knows about right um Budget tracker, debt repayment plan, you know, that snowball thing. Um, retirement planning, tax organized, credits, car tracker, you know, even though, again, there is the, the, the credit score, you know, apps and stuff like that. People are looking for extra. They want to buy. They want to buy. If they want to buy, let's sell it, right? Um, fitness. If you have a fitness blog or a wellness blog, you can offer um, meal planners, exercise plans. Uh, this is a really popular one too. Peloton workouts um, tracker. Now, be careful putting that. Don't put that on Etsy because of the Peloton brand. Uh, they might target you for IP infringement. <laughs> but you can put. You can just put like workout tracker. And that will work too. So see, twelve dollars, and you see, if you're looking here, like you will see that ranges of price. It ranges for from like six to twenty some dollars. So you can always price your. I price mine at like nine 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 or nine ninety or something like that. You want? I want to be in the middle. You know, I don't want to be too cheap, and I don't want to be the most expensive out there either. Um, unless your spreadsheet is really unique. Um, then you can price it high and it, you know, people will buy travel. If you have a travel blog, I know a lot of people do have a travel blog here. Um, travel itinerary, travel budget, packing list, all your checklist, put checklists on spreadsheets and make that, you know, when you check the checkbox, it automatically grays out. People love seeing that stuff. It's exciting. It's fun. It's dynamic, right? It's not just <laughs> scratching off of a paper. Um, Language translator, sizing plan, everything, put everything in there. Lots of plans. Blogging, if you're a blogger um, or if you want to sell to bloggers, create uh, blog track, blog post trackers, ideas and trackers, um, calendar content planners, incomes and expenses, affiliates. If bloggers work a lot with affiliates, uh, make a tracker for them. Social media account, gas post trackers. Are you losing track of your gas post? Do you know, you know, uh, uh, if they're done, if they finished, if it's posted, if it's not, make a tracker. SEO checklist. So lots of good ideas here. Um, small business. Now, this is my favorite. This is my, my thing. Um, business budget, sales tracker, inventory tracker. I, I have like a data inventory database sort of thing that uh, you can just like type a keyword and does the search uh, so you don't have to like scroll down pages and pages and pages just put a, the, a keyword in there that what you're looking for and it will pull the list of everything and then you know you have um, the location you have 
you know, a bin number, you have, you know, how much in stock you have, you have all that stuff. It's really cool. So be count with me because I love it. You can make SOP templates, you can make invoice templates. So keep you have you can have a client tracker and then you can add a, a button or you know a checkbox once you're ready to invoice them. And then all that information will be pulled in a pre-formatted, and you can make as pretty as you want, invoice that you can print right there and then. So you don't have to fill out anything by hand anywhere. Automation, guys. Automation. Amazing. Now, okay. So those are a few ideas. I'm running out of time here. But where to sell? You can sell on your website. Make a blog. Sell it over there. Uh, put on uh, WooCommerce, right? Some uh, I used to have WooCommerce. Etsy, uh, it's really popular. Spreadsheet Nut, sell it in VA groups, sell if you're selling for bloggers, if you're selling, you know, or you can even target VAs. Make spreadsheets for VAs to help their client, right? Local business. Um, if you if you live in a small area like I do, uh, lots of local business do everything manually, paper, notebooks, lots of time and and you know, information lost in the process, help them out. Go over there, be like, hey, I have a, do you need a, a calendar appointment thing? Make an appointment setter for, in a spreadsheet for them. You know, they can, somebody call them, they can get right there, um, you know, see what they have available, put a check mark and it's booked. Okay. Uh, resellers, bloggers, influencers, you can target anybody and everybody. Cool tips and tricks. Uh, so I could sit here and talk all day about spreadsheets, <laughs> but I won't do that. Say to Um, But you can uh, insert images and sell, which brings me to you can make printable planners or you can make to the list printable. So make a to the list as a spreadsheet, dynamic checklists. Once you check, grays out. You know, it shows a percentage bar or whatever it is. And then you have a, another tab where you're going to offer a printable version of it if the person, you know, is, you know, they want to track it either way. So you you give them, you know, you're different. You make it different. Uh, you can make this little tracker thing. It's just add the images in here. They can either track this on... Um, on Excel, so every time they check a little piggy, it will like be red or it will be green. That they saved, it means that they saved twenty five dollars. So once it's all completed, you can put a total, you know, a formula at the bottom to be like, oh, you saved a total of a thousand dollars in thirty days. All that can be automated, and you can have a little printable, and it's really cute. And you give them options, 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 options. Um, for the travel one that I mentioned before, your travel niche. Um, you can create something for them that has um, Google Translate. So all you need is this formula here. This is it. Equal Google Translate, then you put the text, source of the language, and the target language. Uh, there's another way that you can identify if you don't know what language it is. It automatically identifies the language for you and translates to English or Portuguese or whatever. So I did a few things here. Basically, I just entered this in English and I copied the formula all to the side. That was it. So one second, I translated all these sentences to Spanish, Portuguese, French, Italian, and you can, whatever language you need. Um, so there is uh, something that's called language code. So for example, English is EN, Portuguese is PT, and so on. Um, and I'll have the, I'll have a, a cheat sheet for you inside of the membership. But basically, you can translate to any language as long as they have a code for that. And now, this is new. This is something really exciting. Um, Google Google Sheets meets Chat GPT. You can have ChatGPT is this new thing, right? Explosion. Everybody's talking about it. And you can have it inside of your Google Sheets. What does that mean? 
What does that mean? I could just go in the chat, you know, window and type everything and have everything written. Why would I want any Google Sheets? You can automate it. So you can put some formulas together and then you go, you have all your prompts set up to basically get, for example, I'm giving an example. Um, so if you get, uh, let's say you want a blog outline, right? So you say, give me, write a blog outline inside of, uh, inside of Google Sheets. You put the formula and then you prompt and then you go, give me a, a outline, 10, 10 out, give me 10 outlines for a blog about, you know, spreadsheets or something like that. And then it will outline for you. So then from there, you can get the next formula will be, okay, now elaborate on row number one, on row number two, on row number three. So that, now you have everything already. So from these results, you can get your, your outline and then you can get your paragraphs. And then from the paragraphs, you can get your product ideas or your freebie ideas. You can create a whole thing. You can basically you can create your whole blog post inside of Google Sheets or, you know, your customer join you or your email marketing or your social media posts. And you can create a social media calendar and then have the captions written for you right there. And then and then from there, you can use there's um, this automation like Zapier. You can use a Zap to automatically post it to Instagram. So you are not doing anything. All you're doing <laughs> is basically setting up how you want the structure to be. And then everything is done automatically for you. Really cool. Um, now, let me show you something real cool real quick before I go. Okay. So just something to keep in mind. Um, this was another problem solving type of thing situation. Um, Somebody said that they were gonna, they were taking too much time generating bingo cards. You know, um, the generators out there were not, you know, were not that great. So what did I do? I created a bingo cards generator that every time you click the button, it generates 10 new and unique bingo cards. Basically what it does, it randomizes the images that you already sell, you pre um, set it there and it gives you new cards every time every time this was a, a super bowl edition that i made so it was a, a commercial advertisement thing every time a commercial was on you did the bingo and we did that in the group and it was really fun um so yeah so basically all you do is enter your your images here you can uh book insert your images so it's like 10 seconds, you have your images in, and then you put, you set up the image for your bingo markers and for the free space. Uh, the free space is right here. It won't change. So you see here, this is the image. Every time I click the button, it doesn't change, right? Um, so basically, you if you are creating printables to sell, like St. Patrick's Day, I did St. Patrick's, Valentine's Day, Easter, uh, all holidays can do that. And you can do about anything, you know, for homeschooling, um, for the homeschool uh, audience. You can do, um, you know, uh, geographic one, you know, like just randomize the states or, you know, the, the capitals or, you know, it's just anything like fruits, um, make your own being, you know, like things like that you can create real quick. And then once you put this here, it automatically creates your bingo markers. You can just click here to print and um, it prints in one page. And then you have the calling cards for the Super Bowl. We didn't use it because the calling cards were the commercials. But if you were doing like a Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day or whatever other thing, you would need your calling cards for that. So that, again, automatically updates. So you don't touch these two tabs right here. Uh, and then uh, if you want to change it again, just come over here, change this and automatically will change here. And then you just click and generate 10 new ones. So exciting. I love this. I did a, let me get the, the St. Patrick's that I just did one second. Okay. So this one was uh, my St. Patrick, St. Patrick's day one. Um, and if you don't want to set up this here, you want to have like a different, uh, because if you go to print, you will see that, it, you know, 
it prints the two pages on each thing. Uh, now, and then again, click generate. It will randomize the images again that you inserted and give you uh, different cards every time. And the way it randomizes it, you won't have a repeated card, not in a million chances. Uh, again, bingo markers, the calling cards, and here is where I entered the images. Uh, my free space says Happy St. Patrick's Day, but you can change it to whatever you want. You can even write something if you want. You can write like free space if you don't want anything, any images in there. Um, yeah. And the Super Bowl one, uh, I, po I posted literally, I think, I don't know if it was the night before or the day of the Super Bowl. Maybe it was the night, the Saturday. If Super Bowl was on a Sunday. I think I posted it on Saturday. Uh, I sold almost $200 in this alone in two days not even that like a day and a half right because i came up with this idea like right on the super bowl so if i had this up before that i would have made a lot more money right so yeah so possibilities are out there i i created a word search one as well and if again if you don't want this uh you don't want to print it off uh google sheets you can copy this and paste it in canva and then you can design your printable make it cuter put other you know add additional clip parts or whatever you want to do and have them printed that way right you save it as a pdf sell it as a bundle of like 30 40 different kinds because you can generate a lot of them uh and then you sell that okay so Back to the presentation. I'm running out of time, but what is next for you, right? I told you all this cool stuff about spreadsheets, uh, how you can make money with it, but how do you get started? Um, so I do have a free Facebook group if you want to go on. Uh, just join us there. I try to go live the more, the, you know, whenever I can to give you the new and cool updates about spreadsheets or uh, just, you know, some quick tips and tricks to make your spreadsheet creation better. Uh, so just go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash uh, spreadsheetables. And um, I also have now, this is new, it's a membership. It's called the Spreadsheet Hub. You're going to have everything spreadsheets inside of there, everything Google Sheets, everything spreadsheets, um, how to, you know, how to sell on Etsy, how to do keyword research, how to find your niche, all this good stuff. But this is my baby. It's been in the works for a few months now, and uh, it's still in beta testing. So uh, go to spreadsheetables.com forward slash membership to see what we got to offer. And if you feel like joining, uh, you're going to be joining now at the founding members price. Uh, it will go up. But while I do, you know, while I fine tune the membership, you get the discounted price. So if you want to learn more, Facebook group or go to our membership page and then we go from there and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something new today or at least, you know, you got a little bit more excited about um, spreadsheets. Thank you.